Mark, congratulations into the second round with a 3-1 win against Gateshead. Uh, what were your first thoughts of the 90 minutes? I thought we were brilliant, thought the players were outstanding, committed to the game plan, um, frustrated a really good team, um, and it should have been a lot more comfortable than it was. Only when the referee decided to get involved did it become interesting, and uh, but we're through. I mean, you mentioned on Thursday you're a good footballing side, um, but you pinned them back pretty quickly with a, two quick goals, Rhys Murphy and Jordan Stevens pinned them back pretty quickly. Um, what was the intention with that? Was that just to get them on the back foot and try and get them thinking quickly? No, the players carried out uh, what we tried to do. We went man for man and left the goalkeeper spare. And, uh, and then if you're man for man, you have to win your duels, you have to win your little sort of tackles. And if you do that, then you have a chance to break quickly, which is what we did. And... And that was always the way we were going to set up because I'm not sure you can take them on in the game of football at the minute. Um, and the players committed to it. The game plan outstanding. They were, they were great. They won every duel, every every tackle, every sprint. And that's what you have to do to win big games of football. Yeah, John Steen's getting on the score sheet uh, second time this season. You must be delighted that he's getting in on the act as well now. I wasn't delighted with him for the first five minutes. He was nearly getting brought off. Um, but after that, he was his pace is electric, isn't it? And he gets people off their seats, and he's he's chipped in with another goal today. And he he now has to keep going, keep delivering, and, and showing his potential. A lot of people would have recognised Joe Day with a, a different mm. with some headwear on today. I mean, any comments on that? It's been a difficult week. With the, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, we didn't think Joe was going to play. He got bit by a spider last week. Um, and he, he's been in hospital for three or four days on a drip and uh, it got a horrendous infection, had to have it cut open and um, yeah, we were, we were scrambling Thursday, Friday for a goal, we didn't have a goalkeeper and uh, Joe's put his hand up and said, look, I'll play, he's got a bullet wound above his, like, to the side of his ear, but um, yeah, full credit to him, he's been great. Yeah, of course, I mean, the only time he was beaten, obviously apart from at the end, was the penalty, I mean, any, any comments on the penalty? At all. Yeah, crap, never been a penalty. Rehendous decision. But, you know, fair play to the lad, he's, he's conned the referee, but the referee has to see that. It's just seen it ten times, it's just no contact with our player. And I mean, the late goal uh, in, in injury time there, I mean, what are you concerned about the replay? Yeah, of course. Uh, when you make changes to the, you know, when you, you make four subs, sometimes can upset the flow. Um, and... and disrupt the rhythm a little bit, maybe it was that, but I was, when we're freeing it up, I had to think about Tuesday and trying to freshen, you know, make sure we kept Frank fresh, Murph fresh, those kind of players fresh to, so they can go again on Tuesday. And into the second round now, the draw tomorrow, uh, any thoughts on what you want in the draw? Is there something, someone in particular you want to challenge yourselves or? Well, we've challenged ourselves against two really good National League teams. Um, I'd just like an opportunity, a realistic opportunity for us to get into the third round because that's listen, there's no beating about the bush, that's what we want. We want to get Man United away in the third round, get knocked out, earn loads of money and carry on with our league programme. If, if we're all honest, that's exactly what we want. Brilliant, thanks Mark. Pleasure.